The Taipei Metro is getting ready for another busy New Year's Eve this Friday. As in previous years, the Metro system has appointed crowd control ambassadors to keep people moving before and after the countdown event in Xinyi District. With long waits for a train expected after the event, the ambassadors are putting tricks up their sleeves to make the wait a little more enjoyable. They've got the moves and they chant along to the beat. The Taipei Metro's crowd control ambassadors are ready for action. Some of them will be singing to entertain people lining up to go home. And just in case standing in line in the cold isn't bad enough, the ambassadors are also loaded with corny jokes. Do you know Professor Agasa from Detective Conan? Do you know what he used to do before the show? No? Well, he was just graduate student Agasa. After the New Year's countdown in Xinyi, crowd control measures will be in place at the blue, red and green lines on the Taipei Metro. There will be three crowd control checkpoints at the entrance, at the gates and on the platform. Staff will control the crowds to ensure everyone can ride the MRT safely. As in previous years, the Taipei Metro will offer services through the night. That's 42 hours straight from 6 a.m. on December 31st to late night on January 1st. Last year, New Year's Eve fell on a working day. But this year, it's the first day of a three-day break, so it's a little different. Also, due to the pandemic this year, we expect there to be fewer than the 2.58 million people we saw last year. The crowd control ambassadors will be hard at work at the Taipei City Hall, Taipei 101, Xiangshan and Sun Yat-sen Memorial Hall stations. They will also hand out small keepsakes to usher in the new year.